people have wondered about life on other planets for ages. Now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, maybe the coolest telescope ever, we might just get some answers. Proxima Centauri, our closest star system at only four light years away, has a planet called Proxima b. Scientists have spotted some weird stuff coming from it, strange lights. Are these city lights a sign of alien life? Let's look into it with the James Webb Space Telescope's potentially game-changing find. Right now, Earth is the only place we know has life. But back in 1984, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson kicked off the SETI project to search for alien signals. The idea is to pick up radio waves from space, which can travel far. They're using the Allen Telescope Array in California to listen. So far, no luck. Then came the James Webb Space Telescope. It's the biggest telescope out there, chilling a million miles from Earth with super-sensitive sensors. It's perfect for checking out planets around other stars, exoplanets. Before, we didn't know about any planets outside our solar system. Now, NASA says we've found over 4,000. One clue might be finding alien plants. When the Galileo spacecraft was headed to Jupiter, it looked back at Earth and saw a vegetation red edge, a mix of red and infrared light that plants reflect. So, a jungle-covered planet should have a clear red edge signal. The James Webb Space Telescope will be looking for this on Earth-like planets to see what's going on. The telescope can also spot a planet's atmosphere when starlight passes through it. The atmosphere absorbs certain colors of light, creating a unique fingerprint that the telescope can read. This helps us figure out what the atmosphere is made of and if life could exist there. If we find stuff like CFCs, those refrigerants, that could mean advanced technology. Of course, alien life might be totally different from what we know. Even weird creatures here on Earth, extremophiles, that live in crazy conditions could seem alien. Since Earth-like planets are our best bet, we should focus on those. They need to have temperatures where liquid water can exist and orbit a stable star like our Sun, a yellow G-type star. But red dwarf stars are more common. The James Webb Space Telescope's first mission is to check out the TRAPPIST-1 system, which has seven Earth-sized rocky planets orbiting a red dwarf. Three of them might have liquid water. Proxima Centauri is another good target. It's a red dwarf only 4.25 light-years away. In 2016, scientists found a planet there called Proxima b, which is in the Goldilocks zone. But since it's so close to its star, it gets blasted with solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere. Still, there might be liquid water. Proxima b is probably tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star. Since Proxima Centauri is dimmer than our sun, Proxima b might seem like a barren, burnt planet. But if it has an atmosphere, it could trap enough heat for liquid water. It might not be super comfy, but it's our best shot. The problem is that tidally locked planets might lose their atmospheres quickly. We don't know much about Proxima b's volcanoes or magnetic field, which could help keep its atmosphere. If it has an atmosphere and oceans, there's hope for life. Maybe they have solar power stations on the day side to power lights and heat the dark side. Finding Proxima b has made everyone eager to see if it passes in front of its star from our point of view. This would let us figure out its size and density but the chances of seeing this are slim. Plus, the star is prone to eruptions, which makes things tricky. David Kipping from Columbia University says that the star is unstable because of solar flares. But rocky planets give off a certain type of infrared light, and the James Webb Space Telescope is designed to spot that. The telescope's infrared vision is way better than Hubble's, so it might even see city lights on Proxima b. If the lights are only in a small part of the light spectrum, that would be a sign of artificial lighting. The day side could be covered in solar panels reflecting starlight. If the planet has no atmosphere, the temperature contrast between day and night will be huge. But if there's an atmosphere, the contrast will be less dramatic. The James Webb Space Telescope needs only 11.2 days to collect enough info to potentially spot city lights on Proxima b, lights that show intelligent life exists past our solar system. Maybe Proxima b's day side makes a ton of solar power, and the lights are from a thriving, tech-savvy society. Finding artificial lights would be huge, but scientists are being careful. 
they know there could be other reasons for the signals, like volcanoes, lightning, or weird atmospheric stuff. They need to do more research. The James Webb Space Telescope will keep checking out Proxima b and other planets to learn more about their atmospheres and surfaces. Even if we do find alien lights, it will take years to confirm what they are. If it turns out to be intelligent life, it would be one of the biggest discoveries ever. The excitement about Proxima b isn't just about finding life. It also makes us think about our place in the universe. Finding aliens would make us rethink what it means to be alive. It could also bring countries together to explore space more. For now, the search for city lights on Proxima b is a cool possibility. As the James Webb Space Telescope sends back more data, the idea of finding alien life feels more real. Whether or not Proxima b has aliens, it could change how we explore space. Maybe the next generation of scientists will prove that life is more common than we ever thought. Right now, Earth is the only place we know with life. But since day one, people have wondered if we're alone. Back in 1984, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson started SETI, a project to look for alien signals. They use radio telescopes to try and pick up radio waves from space. Radio waves can travel far, so that's why they use them. They have a bunch of telescopes in California, but no luck yet. Then the James Webb Space Telescope came along. It's helping us look at planets around other stars. It's the biggest telescope we have, floating a million miles away, with super sensitive equipment. It could find something big. Not long ago, we didn't know about any planets outside our solar system. Now, NASA says we've found over 4,000. There could be millions more. One thing we can look for is alien plant life. When the Galileo spacecraft was going to Jupiter, it looked back at Earth and saw a vegetation red edge. That's a mix of red and infrared light that plants give off. If a planet is covered in plants, it should be easy to spot. The James Webb Telescope can measure this red edge on distant planets, which could tell us what's going on there. The telescope can also see what happens when light from a star passes through a planet's atmosphere. The atmosphere absorbs some of the light, creating a unique pattern. The telescope can read this pattern to figure out what the atmosphere is made of and if life is possible. If a planet has an atmosphere like Earth's, with oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, life could exist. We could also look for things that shouldn't be there, like chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. These are man-made chemicals used in refrigerators and cleaning stuff. If we saw those on another planet, it would mean there's probably some kind of technology there. But life on other planets might not be like life on Earth. There are creatures called extremophiles that can live in crazy conditions where other things can't, like super hot temperatures or strong acids. Since Earth-like planets are more likely to have life, it's best to start with them. These planets would have temperatures that allow liquid water and orbit a stable star like our Sun, a yellow G-type star. There are also red dwarf stars, which are more common but smaller and cooler than the Sun. Planets around these stars could still have life. The James Webb Telescope is starting with the TRAPPIST-1 system, which is about 40 light years away. It has seven rocky planets that are about the size of Earth. Three of them are in the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist. Proxima Centauri is another good candidate. It's a red dwarf star that's only 4.25 light years away. In 2016, scientists found a planet there called Proxima b that's in the habitable zone. It might be an airless planet because it's so close to the star, but it still gets enough sunlight for liquid water. Proxima b is probably tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star, like the moon with Earth. Proxima Centauri is much smaller and dimmer than the sun, so Proxima b might seem like a barren, hot planet. But if it has an atmosphere to trap heat, liquid water could still exist. The side facing the star would always be in daylight, and the other side would always be in darkness. There would be extreme temperature changes. Proxima b also gets a lot of high-energy radiation, which isn't good for life. Still, if Proxima b has a strong magnetic field and volcanic activity to replenish its atmosphere, it could be habitable. Maybe there are solar-powered charging stations on the day side to power lights and heat on the night side. 
scientists are trying to figure out if Proxima b passes in front of its star as seen from Earth. If it does, they can measure its size and mass and figure out if it's a rocky planet. They can also see if starlight passes through the planet's atmosphere, which would tell them what it's made of. But the chances of seeing a transit are only 1.5%. The star is also unstable, which makes things harder. But the James Webb Telescope is designed to see infrared light, which is what rocky planets give off. This infrared signature is important for identifying the planet's atmosphere. The telescope is way better than Hubble at seeing infrared light, so it might even be able to spot city lights on Proxima B's night side. If Proxima B has solar panels covering its day side, the telescope could see them reflecting starlight. If the planet doesn't have an atmosphere, the day side would be super hot, and the night side would be a frozen wasteland. But if there's an atmosphere, the temperature difference would be less extreme. It would only take the James Webb Telescope about 11 Earth days to gather enough data to detect city lights on Proxima B. If it finds them, it could mean there's intelligent life out there. Maybe the daytime side of Proxima B makes a lot of solar energy, and the lights are a sign of an advanced society. But scientists are being careful. There could be other explanations for the lights, like natural phenomena or reflections from the surface. The James Webb Space Telescope will keep looking at Proxima B and other potentially habitable planets to learn more about them. If the lights really are from intelligent life, it would be a huge discovery. The search for life on other planets raises big questions about our place in the universe. Finding aliens would make us rethink everything. It could bring countries together as we all share a sense of wonder. It would also push us to explore space more and find new answers. For now, the idea of finding city lights on Proxima B is exciting. We might soon find out if we're alone in the universe. As the James Webb Space Telescope sends back more data, the dream of finding alien life gets closer. Maybe Proxima B holds the key to our future in space. The next generation of scientists might be the ones to prove that life is more common than we ever thought.